Cold hands and feet are common among normal population, especially in young women. Cold feet can not be called disease, but it brings discomfort in person's everyday life. In young individuals, cold extremities are normally a symptom of the complex syndrome known as primary vascular dysregulation, PVD. Slimmer subjects suffered significantly more often from cold extremities than subjects with higher body mass. The cause of cold extremities can have inheritance tendency. Also, persons with physical inactivity and indoor life are at risk, because less activity and less time outside means less oxygenated blood. Indoor living can also depress nervous system, which will make weak blood pumping further. Another common reason of cold extremities is anemia, it is more common especially among young women, with heavy menstrual periods. Because menstrual bleeding causes iron loss, an iron deficiency anemia resulted. Another cause of cold extremities is Raynaud's syndrome. Raynaud's syndrome, sometimes known as Raynaud's hands, is a common condition. Signs and symptoms of Raynaud's syndrome, fingers and toes change color when you're stressed, cold or anxious, pins and needles, numbness, difficulty moving the affected area. Complete mechanism and underlying cause of Raynaud's syndrome is not fully understood. But it can be resulted from rheumatological and vascular disease. Generally, cold extremities are normally a sign of reduced blood flow. Blood flow can be reduced due to diseased vessels, e.g., arteriosclerosis, or due to dysregulation. One aspect of a dysregulation is called vasospasms. Vasospasms are defined as inappropriate vasoconstrictions often confined to short segments of the vessels. Another component is inappropriate vasodilation, especially veins. Dilation when not needed. A vascular dysregulation can occur in any organ. In older people cold feet and hands can be sign of peripheral artery disease. Peripheral artery disease can affect anyone, but highest risk are persons with history of smoking and diabetes. Peripheral artery disease can have additional symptoms like leg cramping, heaviness, or pain when walking, hair loss on the shins, nail changes, painful sores on the feet or toes. Management. There is no specific cure for cold extremities. Main treatment is managing underlying cause if exist and identified. Physical activity, walking four times a day for 15 to 30 minutes can be helpful. 